Shattering Impact is one of the more interesting melee mods. It allows your impact damage to strip away enemy armor. Now the wording on it is quite poor. Impact damage reduces enemy armor by 6. That doesn't tell you an awful lot. It's why I think it's one of the more misunderstood mods in the game. First of all, impact damage does not mean impact procs. All it means is the weapon has to do some amount of impact damage with its hit for it to work. It doesn't matter how much impact damage you're doing either. You could be doing 0.1 impact damage per hit and it would still work. On a similar note, it doesn't mean it's going to work better on weapons that do a lot of impact damage like for example the bow prime. All that matters for shattering impact is attack speed and multi hits on combos. And second of all, reducing enemy armor by 6 sounds like nothing because most enemies that are armored are going to have ludicrous amounts of armor at higher levels, however shattering impact reduces reduces enemy base armor by 6. This is why Shattering Impact can strip away 100% of a Butcher's armor at a level cap with a single hit, despite the Butcher having loads of armor at that point. It's because Butchers have a base armor of 5. It's also why Shattering Impact doesn't pair terribly well with other forms of armor stripping like corrosive damage for example, because you're gonna have Shattering Impact stripping away flat base armor and then corrosive stripping away percentage of total armor. Now the main issue with Shattering Impact, which is a pretty big one, is that it's simply not worth running most of the time, because the vast majority of melee weapons are starved for mod space, so you're most likely gonna have to sacrifice either a range mod or a faction damage mod to fit it in. And they also made armor strip a lot more accessible on Warframes. This means that 99% of the time it's better to bring something like Frost with Avalanche which strips armor in a massive area and it does it instantly rather than with many hits. Because you have to bear in mind some enemies have a lot of base armor, heavy gunners on the Grenier or Corrupted factions have somewhere between 4 and 500 armor and you're gonna be stripping that 6 armor at a time. And the same goes for Bombards and Noxus. So is it ever actually worth using Shattering Impact? Why yes, because it's neither an ability nor a status effect, so you can strip armor off of everything. This is generally done with gun blades because when you fire a gun blade you get far more hits than you do with a melee weapon. This way you can strip far more than 6 damage per hit because every single pellet that hits is gonna strip 6 base armor. Now this is still pretty slow compared to something like avalanche but when it comes to enemies that are immune to either status effects or abilities it's the only thing you can do. This is where Shattering Impact though shines. A great example of this is Eidolons. You can strip all the armor from an Eidolon and make it much squishier if you run Sarpa or something with Shattering Impact. It's not entirely necessary because nowadays we have more than enough power to blow up Eidolons very quickly, but it's one of the places where Shattering Impact still shines, with the other one being melee weapons that run Vital and Heat or Vital and Electricity. More specifically status based weapons that run these setups because you won't really be able to fit it in on a hybrid. A good example of this is the base Ninkondi. Here we don't have enough crit to justify running crit mods so we just go vital and electricity with shattering impact. But that's unfortunately kind of it for shattering impacts nowadays. It's only really useful for stripping away armor off of big bosses that are either immune to abilities or are resistant to status effects and it's a genuinely good mod for a select few melee weapons. It used to be a lot better back in the day before they changed code so that it stacks faster though it can't strip away all the enemy armor anymore and then it took a second hit when they made armor strip more available to warframes. It's still worth having though for those big bosses where abilities and or status effects don't work. So when a new big boss comes out and you can't strip its armor with corrosive or warframe abilities, try shattering impact because there's a good chance it'll work. And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I would like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members. Thank you very much guys, I really appreciate your support. And if you'd like to become a channel member as well, by the way, you can check out the memberships and stuff down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.